She was daddy's girl. She was my little baby. That's how Jeff Trulove remembers his beloved daughter, Hannah. For the first time, he shared with us these pictures. They're his favorites from when she was a little girl. But now pictures and memories are all he has of Hannah. Do you think about yeah. her every day? Every single day, every single day. Everything, everything she does, everything she was doing, she, she was such a wonderful girl. I'm not nearly the person I was before I lost her. But it's just like, like I'm in another, Ooh, like another world. Hall County Sheriff's investigators recently took us to the scene where a man out for a walk found 16-year-old Hannah Truelove's body, August 24, 2012. She was laying right here. Someone stabbed the Gainesville High student and left her here in these woods, not far from her mom's home in the Lake Lanier Club apartments off Dawsonville Highway. She was last seen alive here, hanging out with a group of teens. Hannah's father is sure someone saw something. They wouldn't. Somebody just couldn't, you know, catch. Her walk in the, going in the woods with somebody, it male, be it female, be it two or three females, you know, we don't know that. True Love says he's been patient, but it's been hard. Now, nearly four years after his daughter's killing, he's begging someone to come forward. It would so much help. It would so much help. You just don't know. I'm being so indebted to him just to please, just, just, just the smallest minute things could be a, a, a something that we need. Shortly after her murder, Hannah's father told us he thought someone who rode his daughter's school bus could be responsible. Here's what the lead investigator told us when we asked him about that. We've had several persons of interest that we've that we've looked at and we've interviewed. Um, and again, what we're looking for is somebody on the fringe, somebody that has knowledge, um, uh, that has a piece of information that'll open the door to this, these people that we've, we've already looked at that, that we've, we're not ready to discount yet. Another theory in the case involved social media. There was a lot of social media that she was involved in and she would tweet out that she was scared or that she felt she had a stalker. All that stuff was investigated and looked into um, and it was more just uh, teenage drama type stuff. Lead Detective Sergeant Dan Franklin says he works the case every day, but he needs the public's help. He's urging anyone with information to come forward, particularly about the man in a silver Ford or car like this one seen around the time of Hannah's disappearance. The silver vehicle that we've reported on too, why is that important? There was uh, a witness, uh, an adult witness who was out here playing with his young, young son, three or four year old son. Uh, he saw a silver car, uh, it was a four door passenger car. Uh, the driver's door was a lighter, a lighter shade of silver or gray than the rest of the car. That uh, was a mid-sized sedan. Uh, that vehicle pulled in. Uh, there was a black male with, uh, in his early 20s with dreadlocks to his chin that got out of the right passenger, the rear passenger door of that car and walked the tree line behind me um, until he was out of sight. Investigators really want to talk to that man to see if he has any information. About 15 minutes later, he came walking back around the tree line and Hannah was behind him, not walking with him, but was walking be behind him. And they walked around the 2400 building, which is behind, behind you there. Um, but she was seen alive after that. Just kind of personally and just as, just in your profession, what keeps you motivated to keep on a case? Four uh, well, years I, have a, I have a daughter who's 17, and so I, I feel for her parents, I feel for her friends, um, and I didn't get into this business to let people that do this, this to, to children go. I, I got into this business to hold people accountable and to get justice for my victims. Jeff Trulove yeah, is hoping for that justice for him and that. his family and says he'll never stop thinking about his little girl. There's yeah. that phrase, you know, time heals all wounds. Ooh. Is it true? Ooh. Well, the time ain't got there yet. That's all I can say. I don't know if it's, no, it's, it's I feel her presence all the time. I, I honestly feel like she can't go anywhere till she finds out, till we find out who did it.